Hi everyone. All right. So I'm going to see if I can film this haul um, <laughs> because I tried to film this actually uh, several days ago and first my battery died and then second my memory card filled up and then third uh, my external mic wireless mic died. So yeah, I tried to film this three times and it didn't work. So everything is charged now <laughs> and every and the card has already been reformatted. So let's go ahead and get started. So today's uh, video is going to be another one about the Amazon returns bin store hauls. And um, for the most part, mostly everything I got was probably a dollar or 50 cents. But there are a couple of things that um, might be a little bit more than that. I might have gone on like $8 a day or $2 a day. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the, one of the largest things that I did find. So I did find this hardcover book. It is huge. I mean, this is my phone and you can see it's pretty big. It is, um, I think I have this. Yep. I have this out as far as it can go um, on the zoom lens. So it's the definitive visual history of fashion. I got this, believe it or not, on $2 day. It was not in a box, um, but it's in very good condition. It's actually, it's in brand new condition. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, and I love these type of coffee table books because um, they're just, this one has a lot of pictures and a lot of information. Um, and it really does go through the entire history of fashion from the ancient world all the way up to the 1980s and onward. So I'm gonna give you an example. Let's go to, okay, here we go. Uh, the 1500s or 1560 to 1590. It says elegant formality. Um, you know, all of these illustrations, history. Oh, I love this period, the Elizabethan period. Um, then we've got like the French um, from the 1778 to 1789. I mean, this, book is going to be great for me to read, you know, on a rainy day like today. I have gone through, um, I actually started at the beginning, kind of working my way a little bit. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this book. And I love the fact that I got it for $2. So this is definitely going to be by on my bedside table. <laughs> so let me get that out of the way because like I said, it's the largest one that I've found. So I'm going to be just pulling stuff in random order here um, because there's so much of it. So I did find this on $1 a day. Um, these are shiitake mushroom jerk. It's jerky basically. So I've already eaten one. There were three packs in here and it's actually quite good. Um, it's teriyaki flavored, I believe. But um, yeah, they're pretty big pieces and it's kind of like they're dehydrated somewhat, but they're chewy. They're not as hard as like regular jerky and I like it. I, I haven't looked up to see how much they would cost individually, um, you know, like the other stores, but damn, I have a feeling they're pretty pricey and it's going to suck because I do want more and it's going to cost a lot. So we're going to put that aside. Um, I found these. These are two pen cases. They're very similar to ones that uh, Clarissa Caramia had given me. Um, she sent me one from, I want to say it was Flying Tiger in Japan. So I might give this to one of these to my niece. Um, actually, there are three now that I think about it. And I think my mom took one of them when she saw these. So yeah, and it's just, you know, just, I like that it's small and compact and you can put this in your purse. Um, I do have one in like my backpack purse that I don't really use anymore, but I always keep it there. So it's easy for me to grab a pen when I need it. Um, but yeah, I think my niece will like one of these. She's very particular. <laughs> um, she's more of a minimalist when it comes to carrying stuff in her backpack versus my, her sister who is um, kind of like me and her sister, my sister, that is her mom, um, where we like to dump everything in her bag. So, but I'm, I'm getting there towards the minimalist um, way because I have downsized my bags now. I'm in like a fanny pack belt bag kind of thing. So yeah, so we've got that. Um, this I was excited to find on $1 a day. So 
lately I have not been able to find any crafty journal stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. It, it kind of comes and goes. And it's funny when I do find it, it's when I'm not thinking about, like, I'm, you know, trying to find it. That's when it pops up. And so um, this was one of those times when I went in and was not really looking for it. And then it popped up. So these are windows. Um, they're, I think there's like four in a set. So these are the circular ones and I'm going to take them out. They're very pretty. Um, I'm not sure how much these go for online. I did not look it up before I had um, started filming here. And by the way, all of this stuff was purchased in the last two weeks. I'm not including anything that was purchased this week because that'll go up on a um, on the next haul, which will be posted not this weekend, which would be the um, 13th and 14th, but the weekend after. Actually, there's more than four. Oh, wow. This is actually a lot of pieces. Does it even say on here? 10 pieces. Oh, good. So as you can see here, let me get in. They're just various, yeah, shape. Well, not various shapes, but there's some scalloped edges. And then just regular, that's interesting, that the top, oh, here we go. Okay, so that's why. I mean, I probably could make this. I'm sure, I know I have some circle dies. I just have to uh, go and dig them out and dig out my die cutting machine. I already plan on doing that anyways because I needed to die cut some stuff to use for my collage work. Um, so this was actually, you know, Really good for me to be able to find. So this one has 10 pieces as well. Um, but I kind of like that this has that shabby chic vintage um, look to them. So yes, this will definitely work out well with the tags, the large um, tags that I've been doing and in my junk journal as well, my traveler's notebook junk journal. So I just want to make sure that this is in focus. Yeah. They're really nice. So and it was funny because I was already thinking about these, um, about maybe possibly ordering some from um, AliExpress or Temu. Oh, as much as I had said in my last video for the AliExpress, I ended up ordering from Temu. But and that order should be coming in soon. So I'll be posting that video up as soon as I get it. Um, the order that is. I don't think I actually ordered or is it was in my cart, but I don't think I um, I got it on this order. I was being very picky about, cause I'm, you know, I'm trying to keep everything under a certain amount when I order from, uh, like AliExpress or Temu. And I think when I ordered, it was probably right under $20. Um, yeah. So we got that. Sorry for the glare there. That's, ugh, let me adjust the light here. Well, it's not that. Hmm. I'm going to have to play around with the lights. Okay. So I found this one on $1 a day. These are stamps. It's numbers and letters. And it did come with a stamp block. It's kind of cheapy. It's really lightweight, but that's okay. Um, I have plenty of other stamp blocks. So let's take this out. So this right here is, oh, I need something to back it. Hold on. There we go. So we got this, they're really cute. You can use it for your planner. I like that it's got hustle and fierce. Girl boss, slay the day, coffee time, lunch date. And then um, obviously the letters, letters and numbers. And then in cursive, I guess you could say, yeah, it's cursive. Um, these will come in handy. I don't know if they're cut individually. Hold on. That's the only thing that I'd have to cut them myself. And no, it's all in wait. Yep, they're individual. Thank God, because I hate it when you get like the clear stamps that end up not being cut and you have to cut them yourself. Uh, I think the only time that I've had to do that was, was that Tim Holtz? I think it might have been one of his stamp uh, sets. That was a long time ago, though, and I can't remember what set it was. 
but um yeah, that's just really annoying when you have to cut them yourself and then, you know, you can potentially mess it up. Okay, sorry about all that crinkling noise. Um, okay, so this I got on, yeah, $1 a day. I'm trying to think of the store because not all the stores do 50 cent day. So I did not get this for um, the caps. I actually got it for the, uh, the cap puller, but... I don't even know where it is now. I know, I, I think I did take it out probably when I was filming this last video and I had to use it right after. So um, yeah, like I said, I did not get it for these keycaps. I only got it for just that and it was only a dollar. So it saved me from having to order it um, from wherever. So yeah. Um, okay. So I'm going to pull all of these. I did show this in a last, one of my last videos. Um, so I had found some Taylor Swift um, patches and I went back, I think it was like the following week. And then there was a ton of them. So I was able to get them for a dollar, a dollar a pack. Now I literally, before I got, um, I started making this video, I was just on the phone with the um, postal service because yesterday I put out an inquiry um, because a package or a letter that I had sent to Clarissa, um, I sent it on the 29th and I was watching the tracking. Fortunately, I, it was not a big package. It was actually in a number 10 envelope. I had sent her some um, patches, some Taylor Swift patches because she did want them and to share you know, with her daughters. So I sent her a pack each and for some reason, the tracking says it never left the post office. And they just called me to tell me that they can't find the damn envelope. I paid $5 and 40 cents. So they told me that I can file a claim, which I'm going to file a claim and try to get as much money as I can on that damn claim. Cause I'm just pissed that they lost it. And this is my local post office, like in the city that I, or town that I live in, but yet I actually live closer to the one that's in the other zip code and they're much more reliable. So at this point now, I'm not going to go anymore to my own post office and go back to the one that I used to have my PO box at because I've never had them lose a package. Every time I've sent a package via, you know, like a uh, priority flat rate, it always ships out on time, but my post office, it for some reason will just freaking, sh you know, just sit there and then eventually move. But for, like I said, for some reason, this um, envelope just never left the post office and they're telling me that they can't find it. It's got a fucking tracking number, you know? So I'm, I'm just pissed with that being, you know, gone. Cause now that's like, two, uh, you know, two sets that I've basically have, she didn't get it. And I've just, I've spent $2 and it's lost. So anyway, so yeah, these are Taylor Swift um, patches that I found. Um, I guess there was a lot of people ordering this during her tour and maybe they just had a lot of excess and that's part of the reason why there were so many of them. Cause like I said, it's not always people that return stuff. It's also sellers that just, they just want to offload their inventory. And so they will also throw it into those pallets just to get rid of them to be sold. So yeah, so I plan on selling these patches um, on Mercari because I have seen people um, buying them and I'm like, oh my God, I cannot believe they're paying for just one patch. There were also Taylor Swift stickers. Um, I think I got that for a dollar as well. And I did pick up another um, pack uh, yesterday um, of some really pretty ones. They're like lavender colored um, and yeah plan on giving some stickers when I do sell the patches. So, um, and Clarissa, don't worry, I will send you another set. <laughs> so I did find this and I thought it was really pretty. Um, it's a, an ID case, uh, you know, on a lanyard. And on top of that, it does have like the keychain as well option if you want to use it. This is great for, you know, if you live in the city, a big city, and you ride like the subway, you know, or the train or whatnot to keep your pass. If you're using a paper pass, uh, I think a lot of places now don't even use like the paper passes. You just use the app on your phone, but you know, it would still be nice. Like, um, 
I know that if like, let's say if I was in Tokyo and I would get the Soika card, I'd want the card and not have to use my phone because the card is a nice, um, what do you call it? Like souvenir, even though um, I'd probably have to leave $5 on it, but it would be pretty to be able to, you know, cute to keep it on here and um, just carry this. But either way, I mean, if you, you know, if you're at a job where you have to have like a, a company ID, this is a, a good option as well. So um, yeah, and it was only a dollar. It came with these and for some reason they were still on my table here. So I'm going to put them back in. So, and I like the, like I said, I like the colors and it's purple, one of my favorite colors. So I'm gonna keep that. All right, so what else do we have here? There's a lot of stuff that I have to go through. So I'm gonna try to get this video filmed quickly because I don't want it to go over 30 minutes. Um, so I did find uh, this whole set here of, um, what do you call it? car fresheners um and they're just little hold on here there we go they're just little uh cows and bears so this one is with boba uh this one is with the dumplings sakura ramen and an ice cream cone sorry i was a little distracted because i could hear i think somebody's home <laughs> that's why so i'm the only one here at home right now um, so somebody must have just got here. Oh, and one more. This one is on a donut. Okay. Found this. I'm going to share it with my mom. Um, it's a ring size adjuster. So I have, since I've lost weight, a lot of my rings now are too big, at least one size too big. So I was excited to find this and for $1 um, to be able to, I don't know what this is, to be able to um, put the little... Uh, padding here to make the rings fit better. So, uh, yeah. Yep. Somebody is home. Okay. So we got that. What else do we have here? Um, I found more of this and I'm kind of surprised. Where's the other one? So these are watercolor brushes. I've gotten into watercoloring mostly, um, like taking my stamped images and, um, stamping onto watercolor paper and then, you know, coloring them with paint. So this was a set and these are pencil. There is another set that I have that is not pencil. It's probably a cheap off brand. Oh, here it is. And, um, but it has much different size nibs, you could say. So this one right here, that was a dollar. This was a dollar as well. So there are five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah. And it came with a syringe, I guess, to insert the water. So there's like some fine ones, some um, bold ones, and then some flat ones as well. So I think I am now good on watercolor brushes. So if I see any more, I need to not get them. Okay. What else we got here? Okay. So this I found for $1 and it is... Um, once again, I'd have to use my die cutting machine, but they're embossing plates. I don't know if I already have these designs. I might not. So, you know, they can still be used for collage work, but this whole thing for $1, that's really good. You know, when you think about how much just one plate costs, it's like stuck. And there's how many? One, two, three four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of them. You know, that's not bad. I mean, what? I spent 20 cents on each. Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm bad at math. Okay. I'm not going to even bother to put that back in. I just threw that away. Okay. Uh, I did find this weekly planner and this was 50. No, this is $1. Uh, I plan on using this probably at my next job. Um, it's just got the whole week here and then you have your to-do list. Uh, what is that priorities? And I'm not sure what that says. I'm not going to take it out. So, you know, and it's got a hard backing. I thought it was nice. So we got that. I did pick this up and I know that I have like AirPod clones 
I think it's supposed to be the shape of like an AirPod Pro or something like that. But this is, I knew what this was when I saw it right away. It is um, Sailor Moon's locket. And I thought that was so cute. So yeah, I've got to find the one that I have. It's the one that I have has Starbucks. It's a Starbucks one with Sakura, which is really cute, but I would prefer them to be on Sailor Moon's pendant. Okay, I did find um, this right here. This is a lip oil. Um, it was unopened when I found it, so don't worry. Uh, this right here, here you go. And it's made with cherry oil is what it says. And I like that the applicator is really wide. In fact, let me put some on now. And it's not sticky. That's the great thing. That's what I hate about lip gloss and stuff is that it's sticky. And this is very moisturizing. And it doesn't taste bad. Almost has kind of like a cherry chocolate kind of flavor to it. Okay. So I'm going to just show you one of these, but I did pick up six. I already gave one to my sister. I found the Laneige Water Bank Blue Hyaluronic Cream Moisturizer. So I got these, believe it or not, for $1. Um, they were unopened and there were like a lot of women going through the bins, but none of them knew what this was. And I couldn't believe that they were all passing them up. There was plenty more, but I, I put back a lot of them because some of them were open and um, used, I think. So I went through all the ones that were unopened and that had the little applicator. Um, I gave one to my sister. I'm using one myself, but I started using it. Um, at the time, it was a little bit colder, but now it's, right now, it's a little bit cool today, but I probably will have to wait on using this until the fall, winter, because it is pretty, it's a, it's a thicker gel consistency, and I think it's gonna be too heavy for me to wear as it's going to start warming up and then start getting humid. So, um, but yeah, this is a, this is, I mean, I love the brand Laneige. And so, I mean, it came with the applicator, but I'm like, you know, I wash my hands before I even, you know, put stuff on my face. So, um, yeah. So I got, like I said, six of these. Okay. What else here? Um, I found these little page protectors, um, but it's for like the smaller um, binders. And I think I got that for 50 cents. I plan on using this in our kitchen underneath the cabinets because we have like this light above the sink, which is a little too bright. And I think this will look much better. Plus I can change it so that it's not like such a bright light. It could be like red or blue or something. So at night, you know, if we have to go to the kitchen and we don't want to turn on, um, you know, the bright light, um, at least we have this on. So I'm probably going to work on that sometime soon. And this I got on $1 day. Um, let's see here. What else? Oh, I think I, I don't know if I showed this in the last haul. So I found this now it's open now because I, didn't want to wait. I went ahead and opened it. It's from Pop Mart. It's the Ducku Farm. It's a little figure, really cute. These are the different ones that you could get. Okay. And um, it comes with a little card. Now the card's going to tell you what you got, but I'm not going to show that yet because I'm going to show you what was in there. So, and he's so adorable. I got the little ducky that's in the rice. See right there, it's rice sack. And he's holding, I guess, the rice. Isn't that adorable? That's gonna go on my desk, my new job, whenever that is. So um, yeah, I like finding little figures like that. That's cute. It's not something that I would have ordered online, but you know, because they had it and I got it for a dollar, why not? Um, sorry, I'm just looking here to the side. But what else? Um, because there's still plenty. Actually, um, it's over here in the bag next to me. Okay. So, uh, this way I can get rid of a lot of things that have been sitting here waiting to be filmed. Okay. So, this is definitely for junk journaling. Um, these are like what they used to use for layaways. 
Um, who remembers when Marshalls and TJ Maxx used to do layaways? That was pre-pandemic. So yeah, and they don't, I don't think they do it now. They're little envelopes, right? So you can see right there. And this is, I think, what they would have stuck on the hanger or stuck on whatever it was that you put on layaway. And it has the little stub here. And yeah, it's got a little uh, pocket, right? And then it says layaway on there. And I like it. I like the feel of the paper. It's a little rough, but um, I think this is a pack of 100. Yeah, it is. So I'll be sharing that with some people I know <laughs> who like to craft. So we got that. Um, yeah, you're probably wondering, why did I buy this? This I got on 50 cent day because I'm going to do the collage tape thing that people were doing about maybe two or three years ago with strips of paper. And I saw somebody recently do it on receipt tape which makes so much more sense. Instead of having to glue strips together, I can just do it on one continuous roll if I want to cut it off and then start over again. So that's why I got that. And that's a good um, width to do it on. Um, maybe I, yeah. So these are brown switches um, for a mechanical keyboard. I kind of like the brown because it is a little bit softer in sound. Um, Let's see, I got these pens. This was on $1 day, just like the other stuff. Uh, actually, the switches I think are on $1 day. So these are just cute little cat pens. Um, it's like fine point. Yeah. Let me, there we go. And there are four of them. They're just adorable. You know, I can't pass up good pens, especially if they write smoothly. Okay, so that bag is sneaky. There's another bag here. Sorry for all the rustling sounds. But I, like I said, I'm looking here and I'm at 22 minutes. Okay, got to move faster. Um, always good to have these um, four port hubs for like laptops or computers. Um, I did find this on 50 Cent Day. Tweezer Man uh, mini ones. So that's good for travel. Maybe I did film some of this, but that's kind of weird. I know I've shown these before. I think I just threw them all in the same bag. That's probably what it is. Um, I know I didn't show this. These are collage. It's a collage kit. Um, these were, I think, really popular during the pandemic. Right. And so this was on 50 cent day, but it's not what you would think. These are actually movie posters. So look, first one. Elvis and I live here in Memphis. So yeah, they're like postcard size. I'm not that big of a rock fan, but I can give this to somebody that I know that is if they want it. Um, yeah, they're probably the only one I would keep on here is probably Elvis, big Marvin Gaye. Yeah, non-rock you could say. Um, but it's actually on really good cardstock, glossy cardstock. Oh, okay, I'm starting to get hot. I'm wearing PJs here, long sleeve. And I was freezing earlier, and now I'm starting to sweat. And I know it's not the lights because they're all LED. I think the temperature is just going up because it stopped raining and the sun is now out. Okay, so what else we got in this bag here? Um, okay. So I did find this one time. I did find the, uh, what do you call it? Uh, crafty stuff. Oh boy. Uh, almost out of time. These are little tags. Okay. They're not tags, but just, um, labels that I found and I got the whole thing for a dollar. Um, so I'm going to make use of those. And I'm about to, I'm going to go ahead and stop this and then I'm going to restart. Okay. All right. I'm back just because I don't want it to cut off. And then I have no idea where I stopped. Um, all right. So this is a little fan. Now I have a similar one here that I'm probably going to give to a friend. Um, 
So it's I like that I like these type because they're very compact. Okay. And I know I got this for $1. So you open it up like that. It's rechargeable. And there you go. See, this one is a little bit different because it has water in there that you can um, spray. There are three different, um, what do you call it? Speeds. Actually, I need this because I'm hot. <laughs> but um, yeah. So this always comes in handy here in Memphis during the summertime because it gets so hot and humid. So like I said, it's so compact. It's great to fit in your purse. Like, and this one is that I have here is a little bit smaller. I got this one, was it last year? Probably the year before, um, but it does not have the water thing. And as you can see, you can charge it. This one only is a two speed. Yeah. All right. So, and it's always great to find these for like $1. Okay. Get back in there. So I hope I can find some more of these because like I said, I plan on giving it to a friend. Um, but definitely make use of it. Let's see. Uh, oops. Fell out of the box. Oh, crap. All right. So this is supposed to be the cover for a ring doorbell um, that I got for 50 cents. Now, I have the ring doorbell here next to me somewhere but it needs to be put in because the one that we have right now is not working. It's an old, old one. And the one that I have that I purchased last year during Ring um, Prime uh, is uh, the small one like this. So I hope that this fits. If not, uh, well, it's going to Goodwill. At least I only got it for $1. Um, what else here? Because I know I've shown some of the stuff that's in here. I think that's it. I want to say that's it. If not, well, it'll have to be shown on the next um, video. So that's everything that I purchased in the last um, two weeks. You know, just trying to pare everything down <laughs> in terms of like what I'm buying. Um, yeah, I'm trying to purchase stuff that I can resell and um or give to my family or friends and that's it yeah so anyways i hope everyone's gonna have a good week and a good weekend all right bye